Okay, so we talked about Global Entrepreneurship Week. We talked about uh, Dr. Clary and Jen being gone, marketing and uh, networking for the department. Uh, I want to remind you about the Coro survey uh, for Coro by I Cadenza. You might have got that email. Uh, you need to take that survey by November 22nd. So we can compile that data by the end of the semester and give it to the powers that be who will hopefully purchase that program for our program so we can continue using it for years to come. So if you take part in that, there's a good chance we might be able to gain access to that for free so you don't have to spend any of your own money on it. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and start. These again are elevator pitchers, pitches and I want to uh, start just by telling you who I am if you don't know. I have a background in uh, music and business. Again, for the camera, I'm Matt Follison, DMA candidate in vocal performance. Uh, I have a background in business and opera and concert performance. So uh, in California, where I'm from, I taught voice in my private studio for about 12 years. And I own an insurance franchise for six years, which I sold before I came to UNT. And now I teach at Colony High School, private voice. I also am a member of Christ the King Singers at Catholic Church in downtown Dallas, actually uptown, Highland Park area. I'm the teaching assistant for the Music Entrepreneurship Program. And uh, what else do I do? I'm a soccer fan. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it. But my main business idea that I'm uh, actually putting into practice soon is business consulting for musicians. And so I'm planning on doing just like a monthly membership fee to have asynchronous access to me and my business background, which I also have an MBA, so that could help some of you or some watching. Um, I want to uh, have a monthly membership fee that you gain access to me asynchronously through a chat room. And the, way, the reason I thought about this is because I did therapy, premarital counseling before I got married. And the site we used was very cool. We could ask questions of the therapist and they would get back to us in 24 hours or 48 hours sometimes. And those things really helped us throughout the week to be able to, you know, just go about life and prepare to be married. So I thought that same idea could be very useful for someone starting a business. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, a little bit more about that later when I go into talking about our student organization. But I want to introduce Kyle. He will be presenting on his businesses, multiple businesses. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to give you my 90 second pitch so you can see how I've structured it and then after that I'll go into more of my background. So hello, my name is Kyle McKay. I am the owner of the Musician's Bookkeeper where we deal in the financial record keeping of the individual musician and musical businesses. So the culmination of our services will end up in um, the preparation of the individual's tax return um, through uh, a detailed analysis of the daily, weekly, and monthly financial transactions that an individual incurs throughout the month. Um, through these transactions, we'll make sure that each uh, um, transaction is itemized and make sure that you're not losing out on any deductions so you can get the most out of your tax return. Um, through our services, we also offer a um, what is called a cash flow analysis because I'm seeing, or we're seeing, uh, all of your transactions, we can offer you um, personalized and customized saving strategies. So depending on whatever your goals are. Um, now, being a musician myself, uh, we're very price conscious and we wanna make sure that this does not cost um, any more. If not, it'll cost less than what it would cost 
for uh, a client to go to one of those strip mall tax preparation centers, which we've all seen and probably all visited. Um, so I have about three and a half years of bookkeeping experience and working with over 45 different companies. So if you need any tax help or bookkeeping help for you or your business, um, we could help. Uh, so that was my 90 second pitch for the Musician's Bookkeeper, a little bit more about how I uh, came to this business idea. Um, like I said before, I have three and a half years of experience dealing with companies and about 40 of them have nothing to do with music. I do the books for um, an OBGYN office to a uh, frozen yogurt restaurant. Um, and I have about six music clients currently right now, ranging from just individuals to businesses. Uh, my two largest businesses actually have an annual revenue of $1.2 million, and uh, the largest is around $2 million. Um, the last company I mentioned also, I sell clarinets for. Uh, I know it's completely different to bookkeeping, but um, it's sort of evolved into from me selling clarinets to doing their books to managing the daily operations of this business and mind you I'm doing this all remotely this company is based in Chicago so um, from there I uh, became a co-director and co-founder uh, of another branch of that company where we're dealing in uh, professional level instruments at half the cost because we're we partnered directly with a manufacturer so uh, I guess the long and short of this uh, presentation would be don't discount your non-musical um, gifts because they could combine harmoniously with your musical ones and produce a career path that would be incredibly lucrative. So thank you for your time. I hope that was helpful. good at making money and I'm great at spending it, but I'm terrible at managing it, so I'm going to hire, hire Kyle pretty soon myself. Okay, so uh, Karen, would you like to come? students uh, purchasing clarinets, uh, either purchasing their first clarinet to upgrading to a professional level clarinet. I also have assisted them with buying all of their supplies for them that they need um, uh, or various or help them buy various things and kind of uh, guided them uh, through that. So through the years I've noticed lots of problems that parents and students have um, with making these purchases. So um, stuff like they don't have time to go to the local music store, or when they do, they don't get the kind of advice that they need. So that's where I've tried to help. So all of this has inspired me to start my new company, which is Bronson Clarinet Shop. And through that, we will be selling new and used clarinets from the beginner to the advanced professional levels. And we will also be selling um, related clarinet supplies, such as reeds, mouthpieces, those types of things. So all the supplies we're going to sell through uh, Amazon Distribution Center, um, so that way products can reach customers. Uh, if they have Amazon Prime, it can, they can get it the same day, uh, which is just so awesome. And there's no excuse to not have the products that they need. Um, and as far as purchasing clarinets, uh, I will be selling those um, through uh, making appointments um, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So they have to make an appointment then they can come try out the clarinet and I can help advise them uh, with that. Um, so all of that is um, going to be based here in the DFW area where I've taught for 20 of those 30 years. So I already have an existing clientele that I've worked with and will be dealing mainly with the marketplace here in the Dallas area. However, since I'm using Amazon as my um, distribution center, it will be, um, uh, I will have a national 
um, uh, marketplace for that as well. Um, so I'm currently seeking a capital investment of $10,000 to get my, um, if, along with my personal investment that I'm making, to just try to get my company up and running, um, which should be hopefully within the next six months. So thank you very much. Andrew, yes, can you come up and present? Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Andrew Cody Williams. I, uh, I'm here to present an idea of mine. Uh, last semester, I was the one of the honorable mentions of the 2017 Music Entrepreneurship Competition, so I know what I'm getting into with this, but Currently, I'm writing a book and a soundtrack for that book. So the whole idea is, I grew up a reader, and every time I would read something, of course, I would have music running in my head. I would try to find music to play with it, so it would just be more interesting. So what I want to do is actually have something like that combined with it. So that's what my project is at the moment. Um, just like mentioned before, there's Amazon distribution. I'm wanting to self-publish this myself so I have my own uh, creative rights so that way I don't have to sell it off to a publisher and do whatever they say to get it going. But that'll require a lot of funding. So the project would cost roughly $30,000 to produce, mostly because of the recording and editing of everything. But um, that's my idea, so thank you for listening. Uh, the Kindle Store is a great option for doing that. I actually wrote an ebook that's on the Amazon Kindle, Kindle Store called The Art of Phone Sales. And it was free to do, and I made a little bit of money, not much. So if any of you have ideas, even if you just put it on there just for your own experience and uh, you know, learn how to write a book, you can put it out there for free and make a little bit of side money doing it. I'm sure everybody has ideas, and everybody's wanted to write a book at some point, right? But that is such a cool idea with a music soundtrack to a book. I love it. Uh, who wants to go next? Drew? You ready to go? Oh, so you raise your hand? <laughs> Ladies first? Okay. <laughs> this is, uh, this is Megan Bailey. Hi, everybody. My name is Megan Bailey. I'm a third year uh, DMA in trumpet performance this year. Um, how many of you have to give a recital at some point during your degree plan here? So for those of you behind the cameras, almost everybody just raised their hands. So let's say you're about to give a recital. You've scheduled a date, you've planned the venue, you've contacted an accompanist, you've picked the repertoire, you found the perfect dress or suit, um, you've rehearsed with your accompanist, heaven forbid you scheduled chamber music and found other students to play with you, rehearsed that, set up uh, any audio or video that needs to be recorded, uh, created a Facebook event, designed posters, printed the posters, put them up, you get the point. And I didn't even mention practicing for the recital, right? So your recital is going to be amazing. You'll play really well, your friends and family will love it, the crowd will go wild. <coughs> and then you all go home. Wait, what? <laughs> Shouldn't you take a second to celebrate this major milestone that you just achieved? Shouldn't you have a reception so that you can complete that exchange between you and your audience? The reception is where you make the real connection and where you complete that connection between you and your audience. Music performance is a two-way exchange. So where you have your reception, that's a real chance to make those connections, celebrate your milestone, and most importantly, grow that network for future professional endeavors. But I seriously doubt you want to add to your already mild long list, find recipes, buy ingredients, buy food service utensils, bake or cook, transport the stuff, set up your reception, host the reception, execute the reception, clean it up, and then package food for later. That's where I come in. Book Encore Receptions, where I'll take care of everything from planning, execution, and cleanup. And in Encore Receptions, peace of mind is a piece of cake. Thank you. <laughs> so far, such creative ideas. Everybody's awesome so far. Uh, Drew, you ready? Oh, 
Why don't we do uh, Drew and then Juliana? We'll have two back to back. I won't speak in between each one. All right, let's welcome Drew Sutherland. So I'll give my little pitch and then I'll uh, talk about more what I do. Hi, my name is Drew Sutherland. I'm part of Drew Sutherland Productions. Uh, with, all, with the advancement of technology these days, more and more professional, academic, and performance careers are asking for video and live and uh, audio productions of our recitals and performances. Well, unfortunately, all this kind of gear and uh, all the video cameras, microphones, everything that is needed costs a lot of money. And it takes a lot of time uh, to find out how it works. Um, and so, part of Drew Southern Productions, what we do is we bring the studio to you. Uh, we bring up to 18 microphones, uh, six video cameras, and we uh, do interactive live stream so you can reach to your family who cannot make the event, and so you can apply for those upcoming jobs that come up at the last minute, such as military bands, academic jobs, or uh, even uh, jazz band performances that uh, go on tour. Uh, the uh, the one thing I said about uh, interactive live, uh, uh, live stream is that uh, I get to interact and put titles on the live stream page through Facebook. And if someone comments on the live stream, I can interact with them and let them know what's going on, where we're at, and when the videos might be posted. And the performance that I was having on in the background was a live performance done about two weeks ago with the Basically Big Band. So that's my live second pitch. Thank you. student um, in vocal pedagogy and entrepreneurship. Um, one of my businesses is photography. I take professional photos. Um, I'm self-taught, but I charge money, so professional photos, um, to take pictures of musicians because I am a musician and I know what you would need to stand out in this field. So here's an example of one of our sopranos um, that just graduated, Camille. And if you go on my website, juliana.emansky.com, um, let's see, you can click through um, editorial. So I take editorial type, type photos that you can use to help build your website. Um, and here's the Bossa Nova Quartet, a UNT. Um, Bossa Nova Quartet, some more promotional photos of them. Conductors, singers, instrumentalists, whatever you would need, you just communicate what you need. I also do uh, normal headshots as well. Um, so that's one of my businesses. Also, a really cool thing about uh, Finer Things Photography is that I give you every single photo that I take. And I don't put my watermark on it, and it's yours to use. I will edit 20, and then I can show you what program that I use on the internet to edit with, and then you can learn how to do it yourself. Because I am a big supporter of, you know, we need, I know that we need to save money, and I think this is something that we can learn how to do ourselves. It's very easy. And um, so I like to help students that way, or just musicians that way, in helping to promote themselves on the internet. So that's my one business. And that's the visual part. And then the other thing, I'll leave that up. Okay, I'll go back here. Okay, so I'm also the founder of Lou Media Music Works. Um, I'm the artistic director. Lou Media Music Works is a new type of ensemble that is equally online as it is a live local performing ensemble. We are specializing in Baroque music, so all of us play Baroque, um, I call them organic instruments because they have gut strings and whatever. Um, and then our season consists of 
we have three words, collaborate, innovate, and captivate. Um, I have a website for that too. But um, okay, so collaborate, we partner with different organizations in the community to help uh, uh, strengthen or broaden our reach in the community. So really thinking outside of the box, maybe partnering with an environmental company and doing a, a concert that promotes environmentalism or something. So that's our collaborate. The second word is innovate. We make um, cinematic classical music videos, soundtracks to visual stories that are cinematic stories. And our final word is, is captivate, which is a concert that we plan as an ensemble, and our own creative initiatives, our own um, ideas coming to life, and we hire out and get what we need for that and plan all of that ourselves. And um, so that's Lou Media Music Works. And if you would like to get photos, you can go on my website and do that. So thank you. <laughs> Carson and Joanna, then Sonia. How about that? We'll do three in a row. Hello, uh, I'm Carson Dorsey, and I'm a first year master's student here. Uh, I am a singer, like Juliana. Um, but I actually am from the Dallas area, and after my undergraduate degree, I came back and I've been teaching in um, kind of DFW for the last four years. So I've had over 175 students, and um, a lot of them have come to me with pretty serious vocal damage, even at really young ages. So what I've realized is that there's a serious need for health-based uh, uh, vocal teaching and vocal programs. So um, I am the founder of the Dallas Institute of Vocal Arts, otherwise known as DIVA. Um, and uh, this, this is going to be an intensive uh, voice specific training program uh, focusing on health based uh, technique and performance training to ensure that all the students who are coming out are um, healthy uh, and unique artists whose voices can last uh, over a lifetime and not just the short span of time that many other schools um, end up teaching based on, um, especially being uh, pop singers and some of our iconic celebrities who, while they're wonderful vocalists, have suffered from similar inadequate training and have either had s stints in their career or it has ended entirely. Uh, so we're at Devo, we're really trying to hope, or we're really hoping to create the next generation of um, healthy divas. So, thank you very much.
information, different ways of searching for the pianists. And then the other side of the website will be um, for pianists to become better trained as collaborative musicians. So it'll serve two purposes, but I think they're both very useful for where we are today with music and just bringing in the technology to that to be able to have people find pianists easily and conveniently. Thank you. I was not planning to do this, uh, but as everyone uh, is showing the backdrop, so I think it would be nice to show our website. Hi everyone, my name is Hina Le. I'm in my third year GMI of Flute Performance, and I am uh, uh, an active member of the Vietnam Connection Music Festival. Uh, the, the, uh, the organization was founded in 2015, uh, which consists of the, the artists who are from and have strong connection uh, with America and Vietnam. And this is a non-profit organization. And um, uh, so why we're doing this? Because in Vietnam now it's an open market and, um, and it's a developing country which needs a lot of collaboration from abroad. Um, and, then, and the American artists, like many of them have the wish to go to the new country, to the developing country, to give concerts, to uh, to learn about the people, the culture there, and they don't know where and how to start. 